vibrant, groovy era of the 1970s, there was a sound that captivated hearts and moved feet, leaving an indelible mark on music history. Do you remember that song from the 70s? The one you just couldn't help but dance to? And you come to me on a summer breeze. Behind its rhythm was the unmistakable voice of a legend who, along with his brothers, formed the iconic band, the Bee Gees. Join us as we journey through the life and career of a band that shaped an era, reminding us of the timeless power of music to unite, heal, and endure. Number one, humble beginnings and family move. In the annals of music history, few stories are as captivating as that of the Bee Gees, a band whose journey began with humble beginnings and a deep-rooted familial bond. At the heart of this iconic group were the Gibb brothers, Barry, Robin, and Maurice. Their story unfolds in the late 1950s, when the brothers, still in their youth, embarked on a musical journey that would shape the course of popular music. Hailing from humble origins in Manchester, England, the Gibb brothers were raised in a tight-knit family environment. Their love for music was nurtured from a young age, with influences ranging from the harmonious melodies of the Everly brothers to the rhythmic sounds of rock and roll permeating their home. It was within this familial backdrop that the seeds of their musical destiny were sown. As budding musicians, the brothers initially formed a vocal trio known as the Rattlesnakes, later evolving into Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats. Their early performances were modest, often taking place in the intermissions of local cinemas where they serenaded audiences with popular hits of the time. Despite their young age, their talent was undeniable and it wasn't long before they caught the attention of audiences beyond their hometown. In 1958, the Gibb family made a pivotal decision to relocate to Australia, marking a significant turning point in the brothers' musical trajectory. Settling in the vibrant city of Brisbane, they continued to hone their craft, performing at local venues and making their first forays into the world of television. It was in Australia that the brothers, now performing under the name The Bee Gees, began to garner widespread recognition for their harmonious vocals and infectious energy on stage. Their relocation to Australia proved to be a strategic move, providing the brothers with invaluable exposure and opportunities to showcase their talents on a larger platform. Number 2. Formation of the Bee Gees The formation of the Bee Gees marked the convergence of talent, ambition, and familial bonds setting the stage for one of the most iconic bands in music history. At the heart of the group were the three Gibb brothers, Barry, Robin, and Maurice, whose shared passion for music propelled them from humble beginnings to international stardom. The Bee Gees' journey began in the late 1950s, when the brothers, still in their youth, formed a vocal trio known as the Rattlesnakes in their hometown of Manchester, England. Through various incarnations, including Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats, they honed their craft with performances at local cinemas, captivating audiences with their harmonious melodies and infectious energy. In 1958, the Gibb family made a pivotal decision to relocate to Australia, where the brothers continued to pursue their musical aspirations under the new moniker, the Bee Gees. Settling in Brisbane, they quickly made a name for themselves in the local music scene showcasing their tight harmonies and dynamic stage presence. Their relocation proved fortuitous as it led to their first television appearances and provided opportunities for exposure that would shape their early career. Barry, the eldest brother, demonstrated his songwriting prowess, crafting original compositions for the trio, a practice uncommon for artists of their time. In 1963, the Bee Gees signed their first recording contract marking a significant milestone in their musical journey. Their debut single, The Battle of the Blue and the Grey, garnered attention, paving the way for further success. With each subsequent release, including their first album in 1965, the Bee Gees began to solidify their musical identity and expand their fan base. Number 3. Early Success in Australia The Bee Gees' early success in Australia laid the foundation for their remarkable journey in the music industry. Arriving in Brisbane in 1958, 
The Gibb brothers, Barry, Robin, and Maurice, were met with a burgeoning music scene ripe for exploration. Despite their youth, their talent and ambition quickly caught the attention of local audiences and industry insiders alike. Initially performing under various names such as the Rattlesnakes and Johnny Hayes and the Blue Cats, the brothers honed their skills through countless performances at cinemas and local venues. Their repertoire consisted mainly of covers of popular songs of the time, showcasing their innate ability to harmonize and entertain. The move to Australia proved to be a pivotal moment for the Bee Gees' career. It was during this time that they began to garner recognition for their exceptional vocal talents and stage presence. Barry Gibbs' songwriting prowess also emerged, with the trio incorporating original compositions into their performances, a practice that would set them apart from their peers. Their breakthrough came in 1963 when the Bee Gees signed their first recording contract with Festival Records. This marked a significant milestone in their journey, providing them with the opportunity to bring their music to a wider audience. Their debut single, The Battle of the Blue and the Gray, received positive attention, laying the groundwork for future success. As they continued to release singles and perform across Australia, the Bee Gees' popularity soared. Their infectious energy and distinctive sound resonated with audiences, earning them a devoted following and critical acclaim. By the mid-1960s, they had established themselves as one of Australia's premier musical acts, paving the way for their eventual global stardom. Number 4. International Breakthrough The Bee Gees' international breakthrough marked a defining moment in their career, propelling them to global stardom and cementing their status as iconic figures in the music industry. Following their return to the United Kingdom in 1967, the brothers embarked on a journey that would see them rise to prominence on the international stage. Signing with Robert Stigwood's label proved to be a pivotal move for the Bee Gees. Stigwood's extensive connections and commitment to promoting his artists provided them with a platform to showcase their unique talents to a wider audience. Their first international album, Bee Gees First, released in 1967, was met with critical acclaim and commercial success laying the groundwork for their ascent to superstardom. Characterized by their distinctive blend of rock, pop, and soul, the Bee Gees' sound captivated listeners around the world. Songs like To Love Somebody and Massachusetts showcase their songwriting prowess and vocal harmonies, earning them a devoted fan base and widespread acclaim. As the 1960s progressed, the Bee Gees' music continued to evolve, reflecting the dynamic shifts in popular music. Their experimentation with psychedelic rock on albums like Horizontal further demonstrated their versatility and willingness to push artistic boundaries. The pinnacle of their success came with the release of the soundtrack for the film Saturday Night Fever in 1977. Featuring iconic tracks like Stayin' Alive and How Deep Is Your Love, the soundtrack became one of the best-selling albums of all time, catapulting the Bee Gees to unprecedented levels of fame and fortune. The Bee Gees' international breakthrough not only solidified their place in music history, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture. Their infectious melodies, soulful harmonies, and enduring appeal continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, ensuring that their legacy will endure for generations to come. Number 5. Transition to Disco Icons The Bee Gees' transition to becoming disco icons marked a pivotal moment in their career showcasing their ability to adapt to changing musical trends and reinvent themselves for a new era. In the mid-1970s, disco music was gaining widespread popularity, and the Bee Gees seized the opportunity to embrace this burgeoning genre, propelling themselves to even greater heights of success. Their transformation into disco icons began with the release of Main Course in 1975, an album that marked a significant departure from their earlier sound. Working with producer Arif Mardin, renowned for his work in R&B and soul music, the Bee Gees infused their pop rock roots with elements of funk and disco, creating a fresh, danceable sound that resonated with audiences worldwide. Tracks like Jive Talkin' and Nights on Broadway from Main Course not only revitalized the Bee Gees' career, but also became defining hits of the disco era. Their mastery of falsetto vocals, coupled with infectious grooves and catchy melodies, 
propelled them to the forefront of the disco movement, earning them a legion of fans and solidifying their status as disco icons. The success of Main Course was followed by the release of Children of the World, featuring the iconic track, You Should Be Dancing. This album further cemented the Bee Gees' reputation as the kings of disco, with their rhythmic beats and Barry's distinctive falsetto leading the charge. However, it was their contribution to the soundtrack of the film Saturday Night Fever in 1977 that catapulted the Bee Gees to stratospheric levels of fame. Tracks like Stayin' Alive, How Deep Is Your Love, and Night Fever became emblematic of the disco era, dominating the charts and earning the Bee Gees worldwide acclaim. Number 6. Personal and Professional Challenges Throughout their illustrious career, the Bee Gees faced a myriad of personal and professional challenges that tested their resilience and determination. Despite their unparalleled success in the music industry, the trio grappled with internal tensions, personal demons, and the pressures of fame. One of the most notable challenges the Bee Gees encountered was the internal dynamics within the group, particularly the strained relationship between Robin and Barry Gibb. As the band's primary songwriters and lead vocalists, the brothers often clashed over creative differences and the distribution of credit, leading to tensions that threatened to fracture the group. Additionally, the Bee Gees struggled with substance abuse and the temptations of the rock and roll lifestyle, particularly during the height of their fame in the 1970s. Robin Gibb, in particular, battled with addiction, which affected his relationships and overall well-being. Maurice Gibb also faced personal struggles, including alcoholism, which impacted his health and relationships. On a professional level, the Bee Gees encountered setbacks and disappointments, especially during periods of musical experimentation and changing industry trends. Despite their efforts to evolve their sound and stay relevant, they faced criticism and backlash, particularly during the decline of the disco era in the late 1970s. The Bee Gees also grappled with external challenges, such as legal disputes and financial issues, which added further strain to their personal and professional lives. These challenges often took a toll on their creative output and strained their relationships, both within and outside the band. However, despite the myriad challenges they faced, the Bee Gees demonstrated remarkable resilience and perseverance. They weathered the storms of fame and adversity, ultimately emerging stronger and more united as a band. Their ability to confront their personal demons, reconcile their differences, and continue creating music together is a testament to their enduring bond as brothers and musicians. Number 7. Resurgence in the late 1980s and 1990s After a period of relative quiet in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the Bee Gees experienced a resurgence in popularity in the late 1980s and 1990s, solidifying their status as music icons. This resurgence was marked by a renewed interest in their classic hits, as well as successful collaborations and projects that introduced their music to a new generation of fans. One significant factor in the Bee Gees' resurgence was the revival of interest in disco music during the late 1980s. As the disco era became increasingly nostalgic, their iconic tracks from the 1970s, such as Stayin' Alive and Night Fever, experienced a resurgence in popularity, with a new audience embracing the infectious grooves and catchy melodies that defined the Bee Gees' sound. Additionally, the Bee Gees capitalized on their enduring appeal by collaborating with contemporary artists and contributing to various projects that kept their music in the spotlight. They lent their songwriting talents to other artists, producing hits for acts like Dionne Warwick and Dolly Parton, ensuring that their influence extended beyond their own recordings. Furthermore, the Bee Gees embraced new opportunities in film and television, with their music being featured prominently in soundtracks and commercials. Their songs became synonymous with certain cultural moments and were frequently used to evoke a sense of nostalgia or add emotional depth to visual storytelling. The Bee Gees also continued to release new music throughout the late 1980s and 1990s, albeit with a more contemporary sound that appealed to evolving musical tastes. Albums like One, 1989, and Size Isn't Everything, 1993, 
showcase their ability to adapt to changing trends while retaining the essence of their signature sound. Number 8. Legacy and Recognition The legacy of the Bee Gees is deeply embedded in the fabric of popular culture, transcending generations and genres to become a defining influence in the music industry. Their impact and recognition extend far beyond their chart-topping hits, encompassing their innovative contributions to music production, songwriting, and vocal harmonies. One of the most significant aspects of the Bee Gees' legacy is their role in shaping the disco era of the 1970s, with iconic tracks like Stayin' Alive, Night Fever, and How Deep Is Your Love, they became synonymous with the sound and style of disco music. Their ability to blend infectious rhythms, soulful melodies, and intricate harmonies propelled them to international stardom and established them as pioneers of the genre. Beyond disco, the Bee Gees' influence spans multiple genres, from pop and rock to R&B and soul. Their distinctive falsetto vocals, coupled with their songwriting prowess, set a new standard in popular music. They penned hits not only for themselves but also for other artists, showcasing their versatility and enduring appeal across diverse musical landscapes. The Bee Gees' legacy is also reflected in their numerous accolades and awards. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997, a testament to their lasting impact on the music industry. Additionally, they received multiple Grammy Awards, Brit Awards, and other honors, further solidifying their status as musical icons. Furthermore, the Bee Gees' influence extends beyond their own recordings. Their songs have been covered by a multitude of artists, and their music continues to be featured in films, television shows, and commercials. Their timeless classics remain relevant and resonant, captivating new generations of listeners and ensuring their enduring legacy in the annals of music history. Number 9. Tributes and Honors Tributes and honors for the Bee Gees have poured in from all corners of the music industry and beyond, underscoring their profound impact on popular culture. Since their emergence in the 1960s, the Bee Gees have garnered admiration and respect from fellow musicians, fans, and institutions alike, leading to a plethora of tributes and prestigious accolades. One of the most notable tributes came in the form of their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. This honor recognized their significant contributions to the music industry and solidified their place among the most revered artists in rock history. The induction ceremony celebrated their groundbreaking achievements, innovative sound, and enduring influence on subsequent generations of musicians. In addition to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Bee Gees received numerous awards and honors throughout their career. They earned multiple Grammy Awards, Brit Awards, and American Music Awards, among others acknowledging their exceptional talent and musical contributions. These accolades served as a testament to their unparalleled success and widespread acclaim in the music world. Furthermore, tributes to the Bee Gees have extended beyond formal ceremonies and awards shows. Fellow artists and bands have paid homage to the Bee Gees through cover performances, reinterpretations of their songs, and heartfelt testimonials about their influence. Their music continues to inspire new generations of musicians, ensuring that their legacy remains alive and well in the hearts and minds of fans around the world. Beyond the music industry, the Bee Gees have been honored in various ways in their hometown of Manchester, England, and beyond. Commemorative plaques, statues, and exhibitions have been erected to celebrate their legacy and contributions to the cultural landscape. These tributes serve as lasting reminders of the Bee Gees' enduring impact and enduring legacy in the annals of music history. Number 10. Continued Impact and Influence The Bee Gees' continued impact and influence on the music industry extend far beyond their heyday, resonating with audiences across generations and genres. Their timeless melodies, innovative harmonies, and genre-defying sound have left an indelible mark on popular music ensuring their legacy endures long after their initial rise to fame. One of the most significant aspects of the Bee Gees' continued impact is their enduring presence in popular culture. Their songs have been featured in countless films, television shows, and commercials, introducing their music to new audiences and reaffirming its relevance in contemporary society. Tracks like Stayin' Alive, How Deep Is Your Love, and Night Fever 
remain cultural touchstones, synonymous with the disco era and emblematic of the Bee Gees' musical prowess. Moreover, the Bee Gees' influence extends to subsequent generations of musicians who have drawn inspiration from their distinctive sound and innovative approach to songwriting. Artists spanning a wide range of genres from pop and rock to R&B and hip-hop cite the Bee Gees as a source of inspiration and influence. Their ability to blend genres seamlessly and craft infectious melodies has set a standard for excellence in songwriting and production. In addition to their musical influence, the Bee Gees' impact is evident in their philanthropic endeavors and advocacy for important causes. They used their platform and fame to raise awareness and support various charitable initiatives, including music education and cancer research. Their commitment to giving back to their community and making a positive difference in the world further solidifies their legacy as not just musicians, but also as compassionate individuals dedicated to making a difference. Overall, the Bee Gees' continued impact and influence underscore their status as cultural icons whose music transcends boundaries of time and genre. Their songs continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, serving as a testament to the enduring power of their music and the lasting legacy they have left on the music industry. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.